This is Fred Beck for Frederick's Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Storm in Jab Boxing today. Joined by Harvey Horn. Harvey, you're sending Fernando's. What did you order again? I forgot. Uh, half chicken, lemon and herb. Uh, what was that getting for? Perry chips and spicy rice. Oh, mate, it's lovely. It's lovely. So if you get a Nando's, because they were saying, right, if you get a Nando's card, you get a discount. It's like, it's not much of a discount, it's like 15, it's 15 percent. No, no, ain't massive. I knew someone with a thing. I knew someone with a, uh, sorry, but <laughs> I knew someone with a black card, Nando's yeah. black card, so you go in there, five free meals a day it is. Five, three meals What, they were there? Was that mates? No, 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 so Andy Joshua yeah. used to have one. So my mate Andy Joshua. Uh, my mate Andy Joshua used to roll, no, when I was on GB, he used to roll in and fucking sort everyone out. It was great. What, was great. that after the medal? Was that? Yeah, after the medal, yeah. So this is when I was on, so he would have won. Yeah, he would have, he was still, he was a pro. He'd have been a pro up there training. He used to train in Sheffield, didn't he? Yeah. But yeah, he used to sort us all out. It was good. Yeah, I guess, that's Eddie Hearn was just that little, I called up AJ last night. I guess, yeah. It's not a bad name, gotta say, but we obviously got your fight coming up a bit of a while out of the ring. It's on May 13th on the Western Boxing Bill. Tell me about that. Okay. So, yeah, just got announced, didn't it? I'm, I'll be honest, I'm buzzing. It feels like, um, so I'm back out again. I was last out in November, when I? When that went all tits up. So it's nice to get back out again. I'll be honest, I'm clucking to get back out. I'm dying to get back out. I had, um, I need to set things right. I mean, it was one of them where when it first, when the loss first happened, the last last loss, it was like a case of oh, I, you don't want to do it. You didn't really. I wasn't too keen on getting stuck back in. Not because I was mainly embarrassed. I was mainly embarrassed because obviously I'd gone so long winning, boxing well, looking good, and um, out of my own, um, I sort of jumped into a fight I shouldn't have. You know, like with the, it was the way. There was loads of different reasons why that fight shouldn't have happened, but again, there's no excuses. Cause on, replacement, though, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was five. I had five replacements, but on the day, I can't really, I can't sit there and make excuses because I was confident I was going to win. I was so confident I was going to win, and it was a bit of a rude awakening. It's a, I'll be honest, it's it's nice to know that I say it's nice to know. Um, I'm, I'm only human, you know, like as in I've never, I thought, I'm not going to get, I ain't going to take digs that are going to put me down, I ain't going to touch the floor. I've never touched the floor in my life, as in, in in a boxing ring. And for that ear to go like that, and for the way I felt, and I thought, oh my God, like, now I understand. But again, now it's another situation that I've been through. I thought I'd seen it all, done it all in boxing. But there's situations that happen, and now, uh, next time it happens, or touch what it doesn't, but next time something like that happens, I know how to deal with it. How will you deal with it? <laughs> start throwing bombs winging bombs over nah um, all I did was my, my reaction was just to stand there and tuck up rather than get on my bike and move and um, again I don't know how long I could have gone on with an ear like that anyway I don't know how long I could have gone on I was so I burst the other I perforated one I had a small burst on one and burst the other one completely and um, yeah so when I got on my toes it was like you couldn't feel the ground so much on the floor my feet didn't feel right so I can sit there and say, oh, I should have got on my bike and made a move a bit more. But again, it's a case of, could I have done that? Could I, how long could I have gone on doing that? The bloke knew he hurt me. He knew he hurt me. Even though I was up on the cards, I was boxing nights, he knew he'd hurt me. So it's a case of, could I have done it or not? But to be fair, it was a lot of weight and he could bang. The geezer could bang. He could hit hard, mate. I still feel it. <laughs> There's no temptation for a rematch there at all. Uh, not at the minute, no, nah, no, nah, I'll be honest. He doesn't, doesn't bring you much. Nah, nah, it's, um, I'll be honest, again, he couldn't, like, that fight was supposed to be for the title and he couldn't make the weight for the title, so he obviously... What title? Oh, you're, my WBO yeah. European. So you're still WBO European champ? Apparently, yeah, I think so, yeah. I haven't defended it since 2019, I think, but as far as I'm concerned, I've still got it, it's still in my bedroom. <laughs> was it a clean that when you had that belt off in the bedroom? Nah, so I didn't left it in there. Oh, you left it in there? Yeah, I haven't, I don't know where I put it. I don't know where I put it. It's, um, uh... Oh, look at these dickheads. I got... <laughs> oh, wait. Um, no, George, still... no, George, yeah. you can sit in here. Can't sit no, in there. No, no, right. We can't get his head in. His head's I massive. To, I don't want to steal his limelight. 
stupid laugh. Is George coming to the after party? George will not be at the after party, no. George, George doesn't like drinking. Go yeah, away. no, so I'm WBO European champion still, as far as I'm concerned. So it's going to be one of them. defend that belt out next? I want to defend that belt. But yeah. again, he, I would have been defending that belt against the French bloke, that Rodar, whatever his name was. And then he pulled out. And then I had a Mexican pull out. And then I had the Nicaraguan pull out. It was just one after the other. And then eventually that, that geezer was around and couldn't make the weight because it was a little bit last minute. But he couldn't make the weight and he was just, he was, um, yeah, so it ended up like that. But then with that WBO belt, does that put you higher up in the rankings? So it gives, me a, it gives me a top 15 world ranking in the WBOs. But I'll be honest, I've checked the WBOs, not recently, within the last six months, and I'm not on there. And I'm assuming it's because I haven't boxed in, in so long. Um, I mean, I boxed in the thing, but it didn't go well, so... I don't know. I've moved up in the box rec rankings in the British one for some reason. Where are you on the? Are you in I'm the five, 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 yeah, five. Got a few in front of me that I've, I mean, Tommy Frank in front of me. Sonny Edwards obviously is at the top in a minute. Uh, you got Jay Harris. He's he's three, four, something like that. Um, yeah. And this Sonny Edwards is he? Did he relinquish that British title? Yeah, he would have let it go. Yeah, yeah, I think he's got it at the minute. Tommy Frank's got it. Yeah. Tommy Frank, because after he he won it, and then I was supposed, to, well, I say I was supposed to. That's the fight I wanted. I wanted him after I boxed in Wembley in October. I thought, if we get him, it makes sense. But again, I'd been out of the ring two years. I'd done a six-rounder, and I boxed brilliantly. Don't get me wrong, I did box well, but the geezer wasn't anything special. And I come out thinking, it's a bit of an ego. I come out thinking, oh, yeah, it's jumping for a 12-round British title. I mean, I do believe, I'm obviously, I'd beat Tommy Frank. Don't get me wrong, I believe I beat most of them. But it's one of them where... I needed a bit of an ego check. I've had two years out of the ring. Go slow, have a six rounder, have an eight rounder, have a 10 rounder, and then build into it. But now I've gone, yeah, six rounder, yeah, chuck in one of the other, like, right, tough geezer for a 10 round. It's, it didn't really make sense. Well, so Tommy Frank's piece, British champ. Tommy Frank's got the British champ. He, he, he just drew for it. He just drew again, defended it against the bloke called Craig Derbyshire. Just drew. Who's he signed with? What promotion is he? He's Dennis Hobson. Yes, obviously, it won't be difficult to make. It won't be difficult to make. It was made. It was made last time. It was made um, in 2020. It was made. I was in Fuerteventura Ventura and I got a call. I was on a training camp. I got a call saying, do I want to fight for the British? Because um, another bloke had pulled out against Tommy Frank. It was vacant at the time. Mm. I said, yeah, I'll have that. And all of a sudden, a week later, can't do it for the British. Can you do it for the IBF International? I said, yeah, fine. I said, no worries. 12-rounder. And then um, there was complications on I'll be honest it was on their end it was on their end um, there was rumours that apparently I wanted a bit more money it wasn't that weren't the case that wasn't the case um, it just didn't get made because of boxing politics again but I'd signed I was done I was ready to fight and how many fights down the line is that? for me? yeah I'll be honest now I would I would say I need get this one out of the way see how I feel get another get another 8 or 10 out shake the cobwebs off over a long distance over a long distance and then get stuck straight back in two fights two fights I need warm back in alright sounds pretty good Harvey where can we find you social media find me here most of the time I'm always here a jab <laughs> um, find me at, I'm at Harvey on um, on all of them Twitter Instagram don't have Snapchat got in too much trouble having Snapchat no, I'm joking but yeah um, Harvey Allen on my social thread you're blue ticked as well so it's even easier to find you so it's even easier to find me yes thanks for dropping me